Live from the KATC TV3 studios, this is Acadiana's News Channel at 5. Good evening, everyone. The state is beginning work to revamp Sippermore Point State Park. There's a $4.5 million investment into this project. The goal, to attract more visitors. Josh Minnie is at Sippermore Point with details on this project in our top story. As you can see, the beach has eroded here at Sippermore Point State Park. That's definitely been a factor in the park losing tourism dollars. That's why Louisiana State Parks is going to do a major beach reclamation project here. But before they do that, they're constructing a 1.3 million breakwater project. This particular project that we're, that's kicking off today, and this is the first project, so that's the reason we're out here today. It's a combination of our funds and FEMA funds. Hurricane Gustav washed out many of the park's features, wiping out floating security barriers and eroding the coast. Organizers say installing the water break project is the first step to getting tourism back here. All over the country, so don't go to Louisiana, the, the, the coast is all messed up. If you, if you go down there, you can't go to the beaches, you can't go to the campgrounds, you can't go to the sites. So we went for two... Uh, probably a better part of three years with just tourism just went down to nothing. The new barriers are 75 feet long. Crews will install 17 of them with 50 foot gaps between each one. FEMA is covering 90% of the cost with the state chipping in the rest. When the shore washes out, it costs a lot of money to replace it and to put things back in place. So FEMA comes in and says, okay, well, we're gonna mitigate that. And the mitigation method is by we'll put these rocks out here which makes the waves uh, not as, as, as devastating when they hit the shore. Although Sippermore Point wasn't directly affected by the 2010 oil spill, the disaster hurt the park's tourism. That's why the state is using some of the funds from the BP settlement to revamp the area. We went from having a park that was basically breaking even, which is the minimum goal, to where we were having deficits of two, three hundred thousand dollars just to keep the park open. Now, park leaders are looking forward to attracting tourists back to Sippermore Point. Once we're able to retain that beach, you're going to be able to come out here, have beach volleyball, have your picnics, hang out under the pavilions, and just have a great time. You know, we're going to be able to put in a fishing pier on each end, be able to go fishing. Uh, so it's going to be a wonderful place. Come rent a cabin and stay for the weekend. This 2100 foot breakwater project is expected to be finished by September. It should preserve the reclaimed beaches in perpetuity. Reporting in Sippermore Point, Josh Many, KTC TV3.